Um, it's good. It's a lot of positive things. Um, you know, for me, um, and you know, the organization, you know, they know I work really hard and you know, I'm really committed to, you know, getting better and reaching my goals. So, um, you know, the media was pretty much like, Oh, yep, okay, yeah, so um but you know, it was good, a lot of positive things. <clears throat> what was your reaction when to the news of Magic stepping down and sort of your thoughts on everything moving forward? Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, to be honest, I was a little bit shocked, um, just like everybody else was. It wasn't, um, you know, predicted or, you know, nobody had, you know, that on their minds. But, um, you know, we say it all the time with the players, it's no different. Um, from front office or anybody, you know, the, the one thing you can do in life is to do what's best for you and for Magic. Um, he's Magic Johnson. You know, he doesn't need to, you know, prove to anybody anything. And, you know, he just made the, the best decision for him. And, <clears throat> you know, that's all you can ask. And that's all, you know, anybody in this world would want to do for themselves. So. Kyle, for uh, you and several of your other young teammates, there's, I guess, a debt of gratitude to some extent for being drafted by Magic and, and the franchise to be here. Uh, but he also had a message to the media that we need to stop babying you guys and you guys got to grow up and, and you know accept what the league's about. How do you think yourself personally and the rest of your younger teammates accepted that or, or kind of internalized that message from, from Magic? Um, well, I mean, for me, I'll never – you know, say nothing, you know, bad about Magic. You know, he's a guy that gave me the opportunity to come to this league and play for this great organization. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you know, like you said, saying, you know, to not baby us, you know, it's about right. I mean, we're professionals. You know, we are young. Obviously, we have a lot of young guys. But, you know, for us, we're professionals. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot comes with this business. Um, you know, trade talks, injuries, um, you know, not playing. Um, up and down years, but, um, you know, it's about accurate, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Kyle, uh, Josh mentioned moments ago that he felt this was a tight-knit group. Uh, one, I guess, would you agree with that? And would something like last night, do you feel that brought you guys closer as a group even more so? You know, <clears throat> uh, I would say that. Um, you know, I believe that, you know, so, so many times in sports, and basketball, you know, you, you always preach family. Everybody's a family. You know, at the end of the day, you go into an arena, it's the 15 to 17 of you guys versus 20,000 people. And in a regular household family, you know, things get tight. Things are all positive. Things are all negative sometimes. You know, that's just how a family is. So, you know, everybody on this roster, you know, was very cool with each other. Um, you know, hung out, and as the season progressed, you know, guys got closer, obviously. Um, you know, bringing so many new guys in <clears throat> at, at once and having a new team and having a collection of older guys that have families and, you know, had their lives figured out, and then you have a lot of young guys, you know, you're going to have that, you know, disconnect sometimes. But, um, you know, I can't say enough positive things about everybody in that locker room, so. Kyle, back here. Individually, what can you say about this season as far as what you liked about what you were able to accomplish individually with your game and what did you not like and what, what needs to improve? Um, I think the biggest thing, um, you know, I kind of, kind of, you know, proved to myself and people that, um, you know, my, my rookie year wasn't like a fluke, you know, it was something that, you know, I really wanted to come in and, you know, handle because I had a lot of people, you know, telling me or, you know, it's always your rookie year. You know, they'll adjust to you, sophomore slump, all that. But, you know, I was able to, you know, really just work hard this off season or last off season and get better and, um, you know, prove to a couple of people that, you know, I'm, you know, worthy enough to be in this league. And, you know, there's a lot of things I need to work on. I'm taking this year, um, you know, to really work on everything, my body, um, trying to be in great shape as possible. Um, and just really just work on my overall game. So, because what, what's your confidence level? Just getting a chance to obviously 
work with all the young players, get a chance to work with LeBron James, um, that this team can be a part of that top eight next year. Obviously, injuries had a lot to do with it this year. Well, I mean, you just said it right there. I mean, the biggest thing was injuries. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to gain chemistry throughout an entire year when, you know, the best player in the world, he misses 18 games, and then Lonzo misses, you know, I don't know how many games he missed, and then B.I., and then their suspensions, and Rondo missing out. You know, we never really had, you know, the cohesion on the court. Um, you know, some points the season we did. You know, as you see, when we were healthy, go 15-8, and eight, we're fourth in the West. So, you know, I, I, I don't really – you know, for me, I put a lot of things in life in perspective. Um, you know, you could say that we had a bad season. Obviously, you know, we didn't make the playoffs, fell short. But, you know, we had a lot of positive things that we could have looked at. And, um, you know, seeing the underlining of, you know, where we were at at one point in the season to, you know, capitalize on next year with, you know, a couple good moves. So, Kyle, what? What was your uh, relationship like with LeBron towards the end of the season? <clears throat> uh, it was great. You know, my relationship with him has been good all year. Um, you know, ever since he's came here, um, you know, I, I, I made sure that, you know, I, I was right up under him so I can, you know, learn a lot. You know, anytime you get a chance to play with a great player like that, um, you know, you want to learn. You know, for me, I want to, you know, be a great player and, He's been there, done that, been in the league 16 years, going on 17, accomplished everything you can accomplish. And, you know, it's been great, so. Kyle, can, can this group win next year? Can this group win next year if it's LeBron and the young guys? Or, or do you think the young guys, I'm sorry, I, I, I hate to lump you guys all together like that, but can you, do you think you guys are ready for that challenge to take that step with him next year? I mean, we're far from the West when we're healthy, so, for sure. A lot of you young guys had not been through a trade deadline that was like there where you guys were hearing your name over and over again. What kind of, when you look back on it now, what kind of impact did it have on the locker room and you guys? And also, um, Luke Walton's the only coach you've had, and there's a lot of uncertainty going into the summer. What did Luke and the coaching staff mean to you? <coughs> um, was that two questions or one? Sorry. So, okay. Um, all right, let me think about this. All right, cool. Um, well, I mean, like I said earlier about the family portion, <clears throat> you know, you're going to have ups and downs. Things are going to happen. Um, you know, when you're family, everything's like this. And then when something happens, you know, it creeps out. But, you know, it's all about, you know, how locked in you guys are together. And obviously, you know, it's going to happen. Trade deadline, trade talk is going to happen. And you know, for the first time in our life, um, you know, as young players and not even just us because, you know, everybody was in talks but um <clears throat> that's the first time realizing that basketball is a business um you know for us you know our whole life as young players you know we've been strictly you know have fun enjoy the game all this all that but then you get to the nba and part of you know going back to what Majesty growing up you know you have to realize this is a business and <clears throat> you know you can always say control what you control but um, without going through something first, you know, you can't really listen to other people's, you know, logics behind things. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't think it hurt the locker room because at the end of the year, you know, you saw the bench going crazy for everybody. Um, you know, happy, we, we talk, you know, we hang out. So um, I don't think it necessarily hurt the locker room. And the second question, um, you know, the coach staff means a lot. Um, you know, those guys put me in a position to, you know, be where I am right now, um, you know, giving me the opportunity. You know, this league is all about opportunity and fit. And, you know, right away, Luke and the rest of the coaching staff really believed in me from day one, um, you know, letting me be me. You know, come from college, nobody really knew who I was. I played a different style of game. And, you know, they really helped unlock me and <clears throat> unlock my confidence to a different level. And, um, you know, for that, you know, I can't really say much else. So. Kyle, uh, Josh was saying that um, with some of the guys and sort of to your point about team chemistry that he's anticipating that, you know, maybe even the guys who might not be here next year, they might work out together this summer. I was wondering if you had made any plans to that effect or if there was anything about this offseason with any of your teammates from this year that, that you were sort of planning and uh, in conjunction with all of them. 
Um, you know, I haven't really, um, you know, talked or planned like workouts or anything. Um, you know, for me, I like in the summer, I like to work out by myself. That's just how I am and how I feel comfortable about getting better. But, um, you know, anytime we're in the gym, especially here um, at, up at the facility, you know, we're always, you know, competing, being competitive in the summertime, and it's great for us. So, Kyle, uh, shooting was a, a struggle for this team all year long, and yeah, everyone's aware in this room of your, your scoring ability, and, and it seems like the, the fundamentals of your jump shot are, are there. Um, any explanation of, <clears throat> you know, why you didn't connect at a, at a higher rate outside shots? I know for me, um, I know I'm a way better shooter than you know what I shot this year. Um, you know, it just all goes back to you know trusting, you know trusting what you do um, every single day, uh, the form that you shoot. Um, you know, for me, I kind of you know overanalyzed my jump shot this year. Um, you know, thought about it way too much. You know, I think my rookie year, I was able to just uh, you know just let it fly, not really think about uh, nothing. Um, you know, stayed with about the same form and consistency of that. And this year, you know, I kind of let it get to me. And, you know, that's why you kind of see the numbers. You know, shooting is all about, you know, your mental more than, you know, obviously muscle memory, but your mental. And, um, you know, some nights I was confident in it. Some nights, you know, m you miss a few, you're, you're not, you're not going to be as confident. But, um, you know, that's one area that I'm going to be working on this summer, you know, just having consistent, you know, a consistent base of how I shoot, balance, and, um, you know, next year I fully expect to be, you know, a totally different shooter. So.